it is actually New Year's Eve today and I want to start off by thanking you guys for supporting me and watching my videos. The dilemma is I have a dog, a Doberman to be exact, and excuse me I'm out of breath because I'm pregnant and I just had to move her kennel from the kitchen to my room so to keep her quiet. Anyway. That's what's new for me in the new year, I, for YouTube at least. I want to do more talk through videos so you guys can get to know me. What other better way than to kind of go over my year in 2017 in review. And at the same time, I'm going to be getting ready and doing my makeup. Those <coughs> just starting to bark already. I'm going to have to close that day on door. So I'm just going to beat this face while we talk about my year in review. And then also I'll be listing the product details in the description bar below. Okay, so I basically just applied some Urban Decay primer to my eyelids. One of my main goals for 2017 was to become certified. And I wanted to do so because in the state of Texas, you don't need a certification to do makeup, right? Unless you're in uh, working out of um, a hair salon, then you need a, or any salon, you need a cosmetology license. I wanted to go to get certified by TNT agency because I wanted to, to get the opportunities to also in hopes join their team and work the award shows, the Grammys, the Latin AMAs, Premios Los Nuestro, everything. I wanted an opportunity to work all of that. So in March, during spring break, I went. I went to LA for a whole week. I met Alejandra Barraza the owner and Hector Barraza, the owners, husband and wife. So yeah, I went out there uh, for a whole week and I met some amazing people. I met some amazing girls that I still keep in touch with today. It was girls that we had, a, we had to actually work on each other while we were there. So it was girls that we had to see every single day. That was something very, very new for me. I had to leave my ego at the door also because in the class we were a mix. We were a mix of some of us were experienced and some girls had no experience at all, had never even done makeup before. You know, we all start somewhere. Anyway, so that was in March of 2017. I got my certification. I came back and I was so destined, which mind you, in the end of 2016, I had um, established a really good relationship with one of my clients who's an esthetician. And she had been talking to me about maybe renting out a room from her in, um, in an actual studio's, studio place. The thought of it scared the crap out of me at the time. Okay, so right now what I'm going to be using, I'm, I'm going to set my brows using my Patrick Star Powder. Look at the pretty packaging. Look, it matches my backdrop. Kind of. Normally I, um, I use my RCMA Loose Translucent Powder, but... I'm out of that. Sorry guys, I'm still getting over this cold. If you can't hear it already in my voice. Okay, this color is on the peachy side. If you guys can see that. Okay, so when I came back, I had in my mind, I was destined to, to open up shop. You know, when I went to California, I said, okay, well, that's all I'm needing. You know, I got the certification now. I had that, you know, I sit down with her and I told her, okay, this is something that I want to do. I was also, in the back of my mind, I had this fear. But I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm not going to let the fear stop me from doing what I want to do. Everything that I do, I always pray and say, okay, God, if this is meant for me, then let it be. And if it's a lesson to be learned allow me to walk through those doors and learn from them. And if it's not meant to be, please close those doors. I believe in signs. And at the time, there was nothing stopping me. I, everybody around me was just giving me the look like, okay, Vicky, this sounds like it's gonna be hard work, but they know how I am. I'm very stubborn. I'm very, if it's gonna be a lesson to be learned, then I'm gonna do it on my own. Nobody can tell me different. I moved in, I had a grand opening, and no one came. 
So guys, today is the big day. It is my grand opening and I'm going to walk you guys into the studio. So this is my setup. So we got my sister's side here whenever she's needed for hair. Or I can fit two people here at a time for when I'm doing my 101 makeup lessons. So yeah, obviously this is my side. Got all my makeup out there. And then of course we have my beautiful flower wall. My sister helped me create this and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Literally no one, except my sister-in-law. She did show up with some flowers. I'm gonna get emotional y'all. I thought that it was gonna be this big, in my mind, I thought it was gonna be this big deal. This big, super elaborate grand opening. You know, I thought it was gonna be people after people coming in, taking care, taking advantage of the specials I was having. That was in the summer of 2017. That was June and, and June and July. First month went really bad. I had nobody. I had one existing client that I had already that I've already established a relationship with and and mind you there was nothing wrong with trying to continue on with the clients I had it was more so trying to establish a new relationship with with new clients in my mind I thought that getting into the bridal industry a little bit more want these brides were gonna want us me or the image of me to be more per, more professional so I figured by being inside of a studio it would be more professional for them to come to versus my home or, or going to them or I don't know. That, that was just my mindset. To have no one show up that first month, it was very, very disappointing. But I continued to hustle. So I started footworking and networking with a lot of venues. I quit working my normal job, which most of you guys know I work as I manage a plumbing company. I cried like a lot wondering, you know, is this going to get any better? And it came down to a point to where I knew in my gut it wasn't meant to be. I was focusing on other people's blessings and on my own. I wasn't realizing that timing is everything. And it just wasn't in the, in the, in the stars for me. Not yet. Hi, son. Mm -hmm. You want to come in the video and say hi? Say hi. Hi. That's Davian. He thinks he's so flat, flat, so flash. You so flash, Damien? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, before the month was over, I decided that I needed to get out of there before I ended up in more debt. So I was so thankful for Crystal. She, re she also was under the impression that I had a lot of business. And I really didn't, to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and put up a front that I'm so busy all the time because I'm not. I know it may look like that because I'm always posting on social media, but that's honestly because I want to promote my work. All right, guys, so we're going to go in with the other Patrick Stars. Uh, we're going to go in with this palette. Glam ass book. Okay, it's not really. It says glam AF. This is how it looks. These are the colors. So I'm going to go in with the shade Brulee and Saddle. And I'm just going to do a mixture of these two. And I'm picking that, that up on a blending brush and I'll apply that into the crease. I'm thinking of going for a, a blue smoky eye. We'll see. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Embark on an angled brush. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the shade, oh my god, that's really, that's really the shade, that's what it's called guys, this one right here, this pretty, pretty shimmer tone. Bone highlight, ooh, get on, let's pack it on because it's so pretty. I left the studio in July of 2017. I started focusing on what mattered most, my family, my kids, my health, my sanity, my plumbing business. So here I am, very, very, I'm in a peaceful mind. I'm kind of like trying to re refocus and trying to figure out what exactly do I want to do. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia lip palette. And I'm going to pick up this blue shade right here. 
and I'm going to use that all over my eyelids. In June, my husband goes and buys the kids a dog because they had been bugging both of us for a baby. This kit right here. This is by Elizabeth Arden. My mom got it for me for Christmas. And I see this really pretty, pretty blue eyeshadow in here. Y'all see this? This is nice. Shadow palette. And I'm going to go in with this blue right here. The kids, have, they also said, okay, well, if you can't give us a baby, then why don't you get us a dog? Never, ever liked pets. I'm not going to have no pet. I don't like the way they smell. I don't like the way the food smells. And I don't like the shit smells. I don't want to be cleaning up after them. You know, the list goes on. I have all the pets that we could have gotten. This is our first pet. He goes and gets a Doberman. A Doberman Pinscher. A red Doberman Pinscher. I'm going to use this. This is the other quad from Patrick Star. This is called Goal Getter. And I'm going to be using the color... I think this is amber light. No, nope, I'm not using amber lights. I'm going to use I'm into it, which is this maroon shade down here. Sorry, guys. I know I'm all over the place, but I like the way this maroon shade looks against the blue. So pretty. When I first saw her, I kind of fell in love with her at the same time. not going to lie. But I was like, man, she looks so cute. You know, she's a puppy. Shit. I'm going to show you how she looked back then, and then I'm going to show you how she looks now. It's ginormous. But, oh my God, she has grown. She has grown on me. And she's my baby and everything. I treat her like my baby in the crease. I'm going to go in with soft brown from that same quad. And lighten up the crease a little bit. Man, I think I feel like a lot of things happen toward the end of the year for me. In October, TNT agency called if I have to afford an opportunity to work the fashion show LA Fashion Week and I said oh heck yeah I'm just going in and hiding the lash band guys then that weekend I think it was like a couple days later my mom noticed you know I was having major attitude and then I was I kept complaining of my boobs hurting I my mom moms always know right it's crazy Oh, she kept begging me to go to the doctors. And I'm like, I'm not going to go to the doctors because of my boobs. Like, what am I supposed to tell the doctor? My boobs hurt? Like, what? Really? So, but then she brought me back a pregnancy test. And she just chunked it at me. She's like, here, take it. Like, uh, I know you're pregnant. I know it. As soon as I start peeing on the stick, that stick right away, you're pregnant. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Like, I was happy at the same time, but... At, but then I was like scared and like what's gonna happen like how am I supposed to do all of this and how am I supposed to go to California and like I figured like everything was gonna change for me and all the plans that I had you know set up in my head and how can we afford another baby and so on and so forth but my husband's reaction was he was happy and when I saw that he was happy, I said, okay, then, then what's, what's there to be afraid of? Like, all right, this is just a test. And um, maybe when I see the doctor, they have a different test and maybe things will be different. I went to the doctor, um, they did the test and the doctor comes in and she says, so you're here because you took a test yesterday and it came out positive and you're here because you want to make sure that it's and you want to see what the results are? I'm like, yeah. She goes, well, because this one says positive too. And I'm like, well, that's what I'm here for. I need you to confirm that. And she's like, well, you know, the same test that you took at home is probably the same test that, that we gave here. And I'm like, okay. So, but so then you, it could be wrong. And she's like, well, if you want to be certain, then we can send you for blood work. And that blood work will determine about how far along you are too. You pregnant? Stop lying. <laughs> You're not pregnant. <laughs> it's a joke. It's not a joke. 
Yes, it is. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell you what? You can have no kids. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Are you really pregnant? Your stomach's not big. Not yet. Gotta go win with my 228, guys. Um, I, you know, I, I do the blood work, it gets sent off, and then that week I, is, is when I leave to, to California. So I don't know how far along I am. Well, I've been married with my husband for over, uh, we've been together for over 14 years. And so I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. We weren't, we weren't planning it, so I don't know when the hell I got pregnant. So, you know, I'm in California and I'm just like stressed and I'm like, man... Do, you know, I can't, I started, I started feeling the sicknesses, I couldn't eat, I got a lot of asco, and nothing sounded good, I wasn't hungry, I just wanted fruits, you know, in the beginning, and I met with my friend again, Johanna, she roommate with me, and she was so, so, I, I had to tell her, I didn't want anybody to know until I was for sure that it was true you know when the blood work came back and then the room the hotel that we picked did not have a freaking elevator so she had you know I had to tell her because she was carrying my my makeup train case for me and that shit is heavy so you know I'm glad that she was like oh girl don't worry about it I got this for you don't worry and I'm like but you know what if I'm not pregnant and I'm just you know making this shit up what if it's all in my head and I'm not really sick so I called the doctor they did confirm that in fact I was pregnant I thought it was about eight weeks at the time. Anyway, I'm going to go and color correct under my eyes. Halloween is one of my biggest times of the year to shine because I pull out my prosthetics, my special effects makeups, and I have fun. <clears throat> I think it was the week before Halloween. Jordan my um cos my little cosplayer client oops i shouldn't have brought it up there i was gonna smoke that out he um came to me asking to do it based off of the 2017 movie little did i know that it was going to go so viral everywhere he had such an amazing photographer all shout out to german alexander photography um, obviously his name is German Alexander and he's such an amazing photographer uh, we did I did his makeup and I recorded for YouTube and that same day he did the photo shoot and his amazing girlfriend um, lady she um, coordinated the whole thing and she has such a good relationship with people from the news station that she was able to get us a spot on, on uh, Fox 26 News so that was pretty amazing. No way did we just make the news again. So my sister, think, you know, she's a, a big help. She did the costume. A lot of people that on YouTube were, were kept asking about, you know, make, having her make a costume, a tutorial on the costume. And she should because it, 20, it is going to be coming out again with part two, I think, in tw the later part of 2018. So people are going to be searching for that like crazy. That same day that we were on Fox 26 News, we get a call from ABC 13 because the pictures from the photo shoot went viral and now they were wanting to do just share the pictures nationally. Nationally guys! So we were so stoked about that. We were we just we were like no freaking way is this is this happening. So sure enough it did. So, 
that was one of the biggest highlights of my Halloween year for 2017. And then also that year, we participated in the Houston Zombie Walk. Now, the Houston Zombie Walk um, is an organization for charity, and it's to help out in contributing for scholarships for um, for to go for school. It's a scholarship fund. So all the proceeds go to the scholarship. We had such an amazing turnout. We might do it again this year. Well, we are going to do it again this year, but this time we're going to be prepared. My sister was not prepared to take over on uh, face painting or anything, honestly. You people were coming. I needed help. So I said, come on, let's go. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. November, I get a call from TNT Agency again, and this time it was to do one of the award shows. But I have to admit that this award show in particular was one I said if I want to do any, then I would love to do the Latin Grammys. And guess who called the Latin Grammys? So that was so amazing. So yeah, I got to do. The Latin Grammys. First time in Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. And then I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I didn't really get to enjoy any nightlife or any, any of that. But um, it was an amazing experience. All right, Shh. I'm gonna go back in with my Patrick Star Powder. Quite a bit. I'm waiting for one of the girls backstage. We were literally backstage. And um, I see this guy walking from the stage down. And he's... And I'm looking at him and I'm like, this guy is a flow rider wannabe. <laughs> Listening into and seeing the announcements of who all was going to be there. And I didn't see him. I didn't see that they were and had announced him there. And it wasn't until, like literally he was standing right in front of me. I'm like, just looking at him thinking like, this guy is just a wannabe <laughs> flow rider. And it wasn't until I got home because my hubby recorded the the award show for me it wasn't until i got home that i saw that he had made an appearance on there with camila cabello so i'm like oh my god i could have took his picture but i wasn't starstruck at the moment because i was just thinking that that wasn't him so aside from him the only other celebrity that i crossed paths with was uh bad bunny we were walking out on the first day yeah the day of the grammys before the Grammys had started, and he was walking backstage, and we were walking out of the the um, Garden Center, Garden Arena, Garden Center, one of those, the MGM. That's where it was at this year. And um, oh my God, is this Bad Bunny? It's like play cool, play cool. So I was, <laughs> I was acting like, yeah, okay, no biggie. I guess this is what I'm gonna have to do to bake with, since I don't have a sponge to bake with. All right, so I packed on quite a bit of powder. I'm curious to see how this makeup is gonna last me. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my uh, MAC Soft and Gentle. All right, so back to the Grammys. The people that I actually did. I did, uh, we started off by first working on the kids from there called the Dreamers. They came out, I didn't know that they were gonna come out with Louis Fonsi, I think it was Louis Fonsi, I could be wrong. Very light natural makeup on them. I did a lot, mostly of male grooming with those people. Uh, met a lot of cool people, a lot of cool backup, uh, the dancers. I did a lot of, a lot of the dancers. Um, I also did a few, well, one of the spokespersons for Univision. I did um, a backup singer for Louis Fonsi. She's so awesome. And I still keep in touch with her. And she, I'm gonna put you guys a link to her channel right in here. She's so cool. Um, she has a beautiful voice. She's beautiful herself, beautiful personality. 
because it was at the MGM, it was such an amazing hotel. We, there was you didn't really need to leave it. Everything was there. You had everything you needed right in the same hotel. That same blue from the Elizabeth Arden palette. Went back in with that, <clears throat> and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Went to drag that up a little bit to the outer corner. Give it a little bit of drama. It's New Year's Eve, guys. I got a highlight. I got to shine bright like a diamond. NYX Strictly Chic. This is NYX Nude Truffle. This is the shade She Better Work Matte Lipstick. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god, my lips are so fucking dry. Oh, they're peeling. It's so peeling. I got to go on a lip gloss, which I was going to wear a lip gloss anyway. I never just wear matte lipstick. Well, sometimes I do. So I'm going to go in with Jafra's Regal Peach. Figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. I think I'm just going to throw on a beanie. Put some pigtails and call it a day. I'll be right back. So me, Harley, and Layla. Oh yeah. I was the first born. Damien, reach in there. Reach up. <laughs> we like to wish you everyone a happy new year. Happy new year. Look at the freaking camera. <laughs> All right, get down. I be good. Woo! <laughs>